What's up, YouTube? I'm back doing another video. Of course, it's going to be a bike video. Um, so I posted up a picture on a Facebook group the other day about my uh, home bike shop. Um, so this bike shop is it's kind of my bike shop as well as my home office this slash man cave. Um, but anyway, I got a lot of feedback on it. And so I just wanted to go walk you guys through my simple bike shop at my house. So I figured I'd do a quick bike shop tour. Shouldn't only be a minute or two. Come along for the journey. So this is in my finished basement. Um, my wife's an artist. You can find her art. Ask me if you want to see it. Um, but she uses this space for art. We also have kids. Um, I keep all my bikes in the basement. I don't keep anything outside. Kids' bikes live outside. That's it. Um, so a little lounge space. TV, some collectible wakeboards that I collect also, uh, and then all the bikes. So, um, one of the things people ask me multiple times about having a bike shop and how my wife uh, allows me to do such a thing is the key is you've got to keep her stocked up on bikes. So, uh, this is my mountain bike, my wife's dirt jump bike, my dirt jump bike, my park bike, my wife's mountain bike, my BMX bike, my wife's hybrid, my slope bike, my race bike, and my wife's slope style bike that is being built. Um, so that's the key. You got to keep your wife in cool bikes and uh, she'll allow you to do this kind of stuff. So here's the bike shop space, um, tool bench and everything. So mostly park tools. I try to keep all my readily accessible stuff out here, stuff that I use pretty regularly for most normal builds or normal you know, maintenance work and stuff. Um, this is kind of just a loading space, so this is some takeoff parts and I'm going to be listing for sale soon. It's an old slope style bike parts kit. Um, I built the bench myself, I <clears throat> didn't really think about it too much, but I keep most of my lubes and cleaners and stuff down there. Baskets of random stuff, um, lights, and what's this bin here? What do I got in here? Oh, that's my chain bin. So I have a bin of old chain pieces that I keep around for the past 15 years. Um, so this is the newest edition. This is a new uh, workbench. I really, or uh, toolbox rather. I really like it mostly because I got really lucky when I built this. Um, somebody actually made a toolbox that has the exact same height. <laughs> and so that was the only reason I bought this one. Um, I'm sure it's a nice toolbox too. But <clears throat> So this is kind of just my, I don't know, my sitting space. So this is all the parts that I have uh, been collecting um, to put together my wife's new slope style bike. It's a really dope, rare uh, NS Soda Slope, but uh, I'll do a build on that later. I actually think I'm going to make her build it, and you guys will get to watch on YouTube my wife putting together her very first bike ever, uh, so it should be fun, so we'll do that. But I figured I'd roll you through some of my tools, um, a few more pieces, and let me know what you guys think. But all the basic tools, mostly all park tool stuff, and if it's not park tool, I tried to get blue so it blends in with the wall. So like these are Armstrong, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but they're made in USA. Snap ring pliers, I use those for suspension work. And a couple of little pieces here and there. I do, for whatever reason, I've worked in bike shops. Uh, I actually like the Pedro's um, Allen heads, Allen key set. I think I just like the rubber feel versus the, the plastic park tool ones. I do like the park tool three ways um, and everything like that. So in my toolbox, I'll walk you through this. This is a little bit disorganized. I did a full rebuild of a buddy's bike last night. And so some of the stuff just got haphazardly tossed in the bench. Um, so routing stuff, a couple of sockets that I don't use a lot. My park tool pick set. I use those all the time. I do love those. Um, nice gear and ratchet. Digital shock pump. Um, this is actually my home little supply of uh, carbon paste. For carbon grease and put stuff together. That's my tools that I use semi-regularly. This is all my torque wrenches. So I have suspension sockets here, bottom bracket tool. Um, this is my big torque wrench. So it is a CDI uh, by Snap-on. So this is actually a Snap-on branded um, torque wrench that goes up to a I think 90 newton meters, which is more than I'll ever need for a bike. And this does all my small stuff, everything from three to 15 newton meters. Um, another pick set, just because I love these pieces and I wanted to have extras. And then a carbon uh, cutting blade, my guide, which I only really use on carbon anymore. So I actually have this one modified slightly so that the park tool carbon blade will fit through there. Um, and then any of my aluminum cutting, I actually use this guy here. Uh, it's just like a heavy duty pipe cutter. And then a, a reamer and uh, kind of just a finisher, kind of makes it easier than a file. Puts a nice edge on it, a chamfer on it. And then my setting tool, or my thread <coughs> setting tool. Some more tools here. So this is essentially my suspension rebuild drawer. Um, 
Yeah, some of this stuff's just thrown all over the place. I used a lot of it yesterday. But um, mostly what I work with is, is rock shock suspension. Um, I did use all these tools and parts and stuff to put together a uh, Fox suspension fork last night. I'm going to do a shock here shortly. And then I've got my brake bleed kit. So this is all my brake bleed stuff. Of course, it's all SRAM because I run SRAM on 90% of my bikes. And then that's just an axle for my uh, my Thule trailer and then some lights. By the way, if you guys ever need lights, these here, uh, outbound lighting, it doesn't get any better, period. The support, the product quality, and the coolness of the brand. That's it, top shelf light stuff, do that. And then here's some of the bigger tools that I don't use a whole lot. Um, another light, I got, a, I got a, lot of, a lot of lights. Big bearing press, I used to use this more, um, but nobody really uses so our uh, press bottom press in bottom brackets, thank God, and certainly not press in headsets. These are all my wakeboard fins um, for all the different wakeboards and stuff I've collected over the years. I don't know why they're in here. I don't have a better place for them. Um, some wheel building tools. So I've got my uh, dishing tool. I've got my spoke tension meter. I'm going to be using that here this week to build my wife a new set of wheels. And then these are just some crown race setting tools. Again, stuff you don't use a ton, but yeah, but when you need it, you need it. Uh, and this is just some parts. This is kind of like my spare parts drawer. So suspension fluids, the collect all of nipples and spokes and hoses and cables and housings and all kinds of stuff that lives in there. Um, just crap I couldn't put it anywhere else. My tube collection <coughs> for all the different bikes that I have. Um, I, keep, I keep my pedals in here. So I've got kind of a fair collection of pedals going right now. And these are just some empty boxes. So, other than that, no. Um, this is my small parts bin. I kind of keep everything, everything in here. So I've got different drawers and trays for all kinds of stuff. You know, stuff you just run into and randomly need. Like how often you're building a bike and just need a brake adapter. So this is just stuff I've collected over the past 15 years of doing this. Um, a scale. I'm not as big of a weight weenie as I used to be, um, but I do like having light bikes. I like having nice stuff, um, and I like weighing my bikes and figuring out where they're at park tool stand etc um yeah that's pretty much it by the way if anybody is wanting a really nice sweet specialized stump jumper evo frame s3 um less than nine months of riding on it uh, my buddy clint's selling that so let me know i'll get you some more info on that otherwise this is my bike shop these are my bikes most of them and uh thanks for taking a tour with me if you guys thought this was cool let me know if you wanted to, if you have any more questions or Want to see any more about my home bike shop? Oh, another neat feature. I didn't show you guys this. So, um, this is actually air. So I've got an air an air compressor in the unfinished side of my basement over here, and then I have a hard air line that I ran and dropped down here. So that way I can just pop on and get some air for doing tubeless setups or for uh, taking on and off BMX grips. Um, but that was another neat feature that I had to have here for the space. But I've enjoyed it. It does everything I needed to do. I'm still adding tools occasionally here and there, just uh, trying to figure out what I have to have and what I can borrow occasionally when I need it. Um, yeah, thanks guys. Um, let me know what you think.